Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we can work out the exact values for the trigonometric ratio sine, cosine and tangent for the angles of 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 30 degrees. You'll see them listed here and there's no need really to just try and learn them off. As I'll show you, all you need to do is to remember a couple of triangles, which I'll show you. Now, if we were to take a 45, 45, 90 degrees isosceles triangle, then two of the sides, that's these two sides, are going to be equal in length. Now let's suppose we make those lengths one unit. And I label the vertices of the triangle A, B, C. Now we can work out the third side AB just by using Pythagoras' theorem. And doing that gives us the hypotenuse squared, AB squared, equals the sum of the squares of the other two shorter sides. So AB squared equals 2, and so AB equals the root of 2. So marking that in here for AB, we've got the root then of 2. And if we use the basic definitions which we should know for sine of an angle, cosine of an angle and tan of an angle, you can see that sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we took this 45 degrees here, the sine of 45 degrees will be the opposite side, 1 divided by the hypotenuse root 2. So sine of 45 is 1 over root 2. Similarly, cosine of 45 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. Using this 45 degrees then, adjacent is 1, hypotenuse is root 2. So both these answers are exactly the same. And for the tan of 45 degrees, that's opposite over adjacent. Tan of 45 degrees is opposite 1 over the adjacent 1. 1 over 1 is 1. So by just remembering this triangle here, it's very easy then to work out what the sine, cosine and tan of 45 degrees is. Now it's worth mentioning that if you were to use a calculator to check out these values, when you do the sine of 45 and the cosine of 45 degrees, your calculator won't show 1 over root 2. What it does is it gives you root 2 over 2. It's the same thing, that is that we've just rationalised the denominator here of root 2 by timesing top and bottom by root 2, okay? And that leads to root 2 over 2. Now, we can do a similar thing when it comes to working out the sine, cosine and tangent of the angle 60 and 30 degrees. We consider an equilateral triangle. A triangle then where all three sides are equal and the angles are going to be equal all to 60 degrees. Now if we let those sides be of length 2 units and we cut the triangle straight down through the middle here, let's say with a dotted line like so, then by cutting it in half we generate this triangle. Let's say we call it ABC again and you'll notice that we have the hypotenuse here of length 2 units and the length AC will be half of this side here, so it's going to be one unit. And again, by Pythagoras' theorem, we can work out the remaining side, this time BC. It's one of the shorter sides, so we've got BC squared plus 1 squared, the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, equals the hypotenuse squared, 2 squared. So BC squared is going to be equal to 4 minus 1, which is 3. So BC equals the root of 3. So if we just mark it in as root 3, then we can see that, for instance, the sine of 60 degrees, which is opposite over hypotenuse, is going to be root 3 over 2. Cosine of 60 degrees adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over 2, a half. Tan of 60 degrees, opposite over adjacent, root 3 then over 1. Similarly, when it comes to working with the angle of 30 degrees, the sine of 30 degrees will be opposite over hypotenuse, 
1 over 2, a half. Cosine 30 degrees, adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. And finally, tan of 30 degrees, opposite over adjacent. The opposite side is 1, adjacent side is root 3. So, again, very easy when you remember this triangle here. Just by cutting an equilateral triangle down through the middle and having sides of length 2 units. Now, clearly, for the tan of 60 degrees, root 3 over 1, root 3 divided by 1 is just going to be root 3. And if you were to use a calculator to work out the tangent of 30 degrees, you won't see 1 over root 3. What happens is that we rationalise the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by root 3, and you end up with root 3 over 3. So that's the result that you're going to see then on a calculator. So I'd strongly recommend then that you try and remember these two triangles here. And then you'll be able to work out sine cos tan of 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 30 degrees really easily without ever having to try and memorise these results. And secondly, later on, if you take this further, you're going to be working out other trigonometric functions based on these angles, like sec of 45 degrees, or cosec 45 degrees, or cot 45 degrees. And the same applies to the 60 and 30 degrees. It would be a nightmare to try and remember them all, but if you remember the triangles, you should have no problem working out the exact values. Okay?